physicality, there are things that are simply unacceptable to me. As a person who understands the constitution and who believes in the purity of the doctrine of separation of powers, we that is vested in parliament to other organs of, of, of state. It cannot be possible that a cabinet secretary, we should dissolve parliament, let Mbadi make all the decisions he wants to make on the money that he wants to send. What is the point of us sitting here? And honorable Ndindi York, at least for you, you have the luxury of being invited to state house. I am persona and grant at state house. I'm not, I'm not going to go to state house. So do what? I personally believe that even as members of parliament, you being summoned to state house, you are subserving yourselves to an institution that you observe and oversight. You will never see me as being summoned by the president. To do what? He will come tomorrow to parliament because you are his you are oversighters. You cannot be the one saying, oh, the budget is prepared by the president. He is not a member of the budget committee. I didn't know these things because you know me, I only know opposition. Now, clearly, you are telling us, you are telling us that as a member of the National Assembly, point, point the, chair, just point, let me finish. Point, point, I thought you said you would have to finish. But, but we have a right to raise point of order. Because when the trajectory goes to somewhere else. Honorable Chair, you know you are the one who guided us on the rules. That when somebody is on the mic, it could be that, because I have never been in government, I don't know this animal called government, I could be ignorant of some of the things that Ndingi is. We have been given the constitutional mandate as parliament. Let us do our job. Let us execute our mandate. That's what the people expect. A place where Sifuna cannot go. Or at, uh, our, or at uh, uh, treasure. In this room, in this building. So you should tell me because I can just walk out. Yeah. Uh, protect, especially people who are not in this community, to buy none other than the CS National Treasury. And there is nowhere where they exactly are to for sure. Okay, Makali. You take a decision in consultation. To bring it. Consultation. Because it is a conversation. To just exhaustively finish what I'm going to say. Honorable Makali, are you done? Come in. Mic off, Senator Nyoka. Everything very clear. We have parliamentary mandate as a committee, uh, to be very honest, that in good faith, CS Mbadi should have kept on the parliament. Uh, the, man, the clear mandate is, you know, uh, we can as well say here at the position by parliament, but is going to implement all the arms of government, which is not right. Uh, uh, my co-chair just said something in good faith, but behind the scenes consultations will happen. Uh, wherever uh, how that affects, uh, for example, the right on the Borela, I'm all uh, My yeah, number one. Number two, the last three meetings, unfortunately, has been concentrated on the core mandate of Honduras, which is the, the three controversial issues that we have and decide on them and we move forward. Resumption of consideration of division of... And today, because our time is extremely precious, we have met committee and uh, largely political. And the tones are properly settled. And today, now for us to go back to issues that are not before us, as the common date of this committee. We are asleep, and I would like to give my co-chair from uh, agenda number four uh, by the clerks taking us to that. Thank you very much. Would it come? The undercurrents the chair is talking about are welcome to us. We have canvassed enough on that. The issues also have to move forward in terms of the legalities around after we As they say, you can only eat an elephant piece by piece. So I'd rather we, we don't uh, theorize on the whole. Uh, we now go to the real issue around the fee. We don't be labor now anymore. Then we go to the
certain extent, in my opinion. And therefore, any member with in at all. Yes, one of DK. Okay, I think uh, with that kind of, uh, we let the river flow where it was going to go is uh, uh, having said that uh, I wish we could have the way we had enumerated the six uh, what transpired for the last one which we haven't met uh, we may not say initially we had asked a lot of documentation in terms of uh, the outlook in terms of real uh, observation from them. One of it is that lands bill that we are using to collect is the one for 2023-2024. The day. So having come from there, then we go to what happened in the collection for the 2023-2020. And from the data that we have is that it increased around 21 million. So the counties are when you get this data we were provided. It is I know you aren't there, but now having the two having the two figures and given that we are the Finance Act of 2023 and in 2023 2024 the share that has been given was and and eighty five billion. The proposed for before before what happened in the to the finance bill for 2024-2025 back to the performance of 2023-2024. In the performance of 2023-2024, uh, will not suffer a lot of losses. Source revenue increased last year, and chances are, if we go with the same trajectory, it is going to increase this year. So the pro from the, from where I'm sitting, that is. Uh, the proposal that all we all we should support based on the data that is available. Thank you. The entire justification by national government for why we need to cut the revenue 80 billion addition, I have requested that you give us the national government's share of revenue raised nationally was adjusted 325 billion. That's important in terms of guiding uh, the discussion. Was one not here? Let's, before we go to Honorable Mkatana, let's go to Senator Onyonka. I have to pronounce myself chair. I found this thing really interesting. You are keeping, you are keeping seventy-five percent of the revenue at that moment for the executive. How dare you? We deal more than the governors. Billion, chair. I'm so frustrated. Honourable chair, honourable doctor. It won't lose. He's a PhD. You will take the wind out of the sail, honor still in more, or the county still in less. We would need to be very specific when shillings a day. Your let minister said that yesterday. Let me finish. Let me finish. Resources, that's a serious allegation. It needs to be backed. And on the content once again, on our terms of reference right now, looking at whether on a butcher, 